laneless option. But my, uh, I am, again, I'm not touching anything not on the pedal on there. If you can even see, uh, it's stopping for me right now. Um, steering is unavailable under nine miles an hour on my vehicle. Uh, on most of the Toyotas, it's 12 miles an hour. Um, but we're I'm stopped here. The laneless option is their new Alpha software. Uh, completely redesigned. It's end-to-end uh, -end learning. Uh, I just tapped the accelerator to resume, and it resumed the autopilot. Uh, but it's end-to-end -end learning. It's pretty awesome. Um, it uh, it they've programmed it based on user data. They have over a million hours of driver input collected, and they are using that data. Easy, buddy. <laughs> doesn't matter how smart the software is it can't make up for stupid drivers and that guy almost pulled into me um, anyway uh, so they're using user data for this model it's really awesome so uh, it's the end-to-end -end learning um, it's uh, laneless so it doesn't use the lane lines it's designed to drive like a human so they've taken the million plus hours of driving and integrated that into the software and uh, it's using the end-to-end -end deep learning to figure out how it should drive on these roads. And it does pretty awesome. I still have to help in the corners, but that's because of the max torque available from Chrysler on my vehicle. It's slightly different on every vehicle. They can override that, but they've chosen not to right now uh, because uh, they don't want that liability at the moment. So using the max torque that Chrysler has available, it does pretty well still on the corners. I have to help it occasionally on the corners and then I have to make up for stupid drivers still. So you do have to pay attention. Um, but the lane list so far is smoother. Uh, it's it's much more stable, especially on this road. The, the lines are harsh to read for the camera when the sun's on it, especially the lighter concrete. Uh, in Utah, the lines are horrible. <laughs> so, it's, well, especially when it's wet too. When it's wet or bright light, the cameras by nature just have a hard time picking up the lines and the laneless doesn't go off the lines it goes off of where a human would drive in the the track i'm sure it or in the road i'm sure it will will uh detect some of the lines uh or detect the lines but it's also detecting where the cars are and the position on the road uh just just better overall uh it's way smoother um there i didn't even have to do anything <laughs> on that stop it stopped and started it didn't stop all the way, so I was able to just keep going again. But anyway, really like the laneless option. Again, it is alpha, so it's still very new, but it has a it has several years of programming into it uh, and lots of input from drivers. So anyway, there's a quick update. I will get a video for my truck up soon for those of you that, that watch my channels for my truck. I'm gonna do some comparisons with the tunes I have, so stay tuned for that.